There I go. I got an advertisement, I thought that was part of the stream. <laughs> I was like, oh, what epic meme is Spot doing? Never mind. It's NordVPN! They should really make it where, if you're like a mod, you don't have to see the ads, because you might need to moderate what, visually what's happening. Then Twitch oh. wouldn't make as much money. For the yeah, but it, it's literally a conflict of interest for their own stuff, though, because... You need mods, otherwise you might show naughty bits and Yeah, but money. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but breaking TOS makes them lose money, oh my god. Oh, they don't care. You think they care? No. The they few, lose the like few days, few days I had to be on my phone because my computer wasn't set up, I ended up getting like non stop political ads on Twitch. So yay. Yeah, you get political ads, that's pretty fun. Yep. Wow. All the ads I get are for products I don't want. It's either political ads or condom ads. All my ads are literally feminine birth control or menopause, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> for me it's... Exactly I get those ads. For me it's like, ah yes, here is a music festival that you totally want to go to. And I'm like, thanks, I'll definitely not do that. Uh -huh. Let's see. And I joined sure. game. Yes. It Let us join game. The password is Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark Corkle. Yeah, that's yep. the password. Yep. I wonder if I need to put it in a second time. I love how weird and buggy this. Stupid... Never mind. I don't need to. <laughs> Gugana, give it a break, it's an old video game that is no longer being worked on, or, or actively developed for. Didn't we just get an expansion like a year or two ago? I yeah, think we just joke. got an expansion a few weeks ago. I, <laughs> I don't know, always one? expanding. Hmm. I don't know. This game keeps getting, just every once in a while this game just gets a big update and I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Do I have... Yeah, the any of these? My little eyeball friend. There's my eyeball friend. Okay, I got everything. Hey, we're in... I just realized... We're in Egypt. Oh, yeah. Really? I thought this was China. Starters Holy fucking Let's crap, go. Lois. We're in Egypt. Holy fucking shit. This is very, very good Egypt music. Reminds me of the war. Mm -hmm. This is really fucking with me, because I wanted to do, like, inputs for me rising. Uh, this isn't your, your nerdy vampire game. This is a real gamer's game. Yeah, this is the Chad, uh, this is the Chad no idea what the fuck we're doing game. I just There's hate when no the hobos. game has like a similar art style or like camera angle. It it destroys my muscle memory. Oh, oh I tried to do the scream and I didn't hear it on my end when I pressed it. I didn't so, hear wow. it either. I don't think you screamed. Hey, wizard, man. Looks, well, I, look, we have actually right, no, different enemies cool. now, I think. Oh, yeah, we got Jackalmans. Instead of satyrs, they're jackalmans who are killing more furries. Yeah. Can't be a, a spot stream without me screaming my ass. God, I can't. Oh god, I can't use my index finger to press keys. God damn it. But you don't. You don't play this just using a mouse like me. No, I have to press uh, buttons to activate my skills. Apparently, I broke the nose on my finger. Finger like months ago doing move. Well, a few weeks ago doing move. So I have to deal with it. I oh, mean, look at this dancing. The holy shit, that guy man. ran fast. <laughs> God look damn. At the, look at the dancing man. Did, that guy went, yeah, that guy went fast on stream too. Also, this guy's doing a funny cartoon dance. What is this? I thought this was a serious game for gamers. A man's game. Yeah. I literally... Oh, it's like a... 
I like my entire build is just having ads and then I do nothing. Having ads and then you do nothing? Yeah. Yeah, and you still complain about your muscle memory. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Because I want to like, do stuff and then I'm like, oh, I'm old, never mind. Summons minions, does nothing. Damn it, the, my muscle memory is, make, is making me worse <laughs> in this game. Exactly. You know what it is. My build's good. Battle with dual wheelings, so I'm gonna try that for a bit. Oh, I just saw an item fall down this oh well god. thing. Oh god, look out, we got red scorpions. Oh, oh I wait, got a no, bow. I totally use bows. Scorpions. <laughs> Does anyone wait. use bows? I forget. I sort of use bows, not very often though. Oh yeah, well I got a bow that's like, kind of alright. If you want have, it. Have we encountered scorpions before, coming here before? I uh, I don't know, we, we play exactly. this very little, very little, so I have no idea. Ah! The mo moment I saw that thing run off the corner of the screen, I knew it was coming for us. <laughs> also, hi Spot, you're very quiet today. Yeah. Are you depresso? <laughs> Always, but... Did someone force you to play Fortnite? Fa oh. Family Sword? Okay, I think we just completed a quest. I didn't even realize this was here. As usual. We did it! Yeah. Oh, we gotta deliver the Family oh, Heirloom. Oh, I've been playing without the item display the entire time. It happens. Also, that, that shield that fell into the well, I could see the name under the ground, so yeah, it just... It's just down there. Apparently that's a thing that can happen. Can you imagine if, like, you got a really good drop and it falls down a well? That'd be so sad. Well, Alright, I, I, gave, I gave the sword. Oh. Yay, we did it. Yeah, I, I went back to get the guy the sword. He's like, my family sword! Now I can finally uh, kill myself. Do we all have to go back and turn it in? I don't, I don't uh, know. I, I got the quest complete message and I got the yeah. experience. Well, yeah, you don't need to. I did it. I did it. Ah, uh, yes. So this is Egypt. That's right. It's quite Egypt. Where's everyone gone? Did you know that in Egypt, they they had bald heads a lot and it was good because they didn't get head lice it's true hmm. ah f yeah makes a I lot of sense the head lice are evil. Mm -hmm. did you know that uh some time ago in a nondescript decade ago uh people thought tapeworms made you skinny so they would sell tapeworm eggs and everyone would take them <laughs> and that's why the U.S. has a really larger than normal amount of people with tapeworms to this oh. day. Yeah, they would sell, like, it's a magic diet pill. And if you want yeah. to stop being skinny, you take the other pill, which is was a insecticide specifically just for the, ta for the parasite. And they uh -huh. just didn't, didn't just disclose what the pill was. Yeah, so a lot of women took it, and then they had gross parasites in their guts. Fun! Yeah. <laughs> I know I hate parasites, I still hate them. But it's funny because I bite parasites and stuff. Why did evolution decide that, hey, parasites are a great idea? Well, if, you can, make, if you can get someone to do all this stuff instead you know, of you, you just need to, like, exist, and then it's better. Mm -hmm. I can never get why 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 why, why, why I've created mosquitoes. There's nothing good out of mosquitoes. Sure there is. They pollinate certain species of plants. Yeah, but they suck you and get give you diseases and they suck you and they yeah. Yeah, they're culling their own ecosystem from larger predators that could mm -hmm. eat them. That and they actually don't need to eat blood as much. It's only the females, and it's only like one or two blood meals, so they can lay their eggs. So really, they're they're really nice. Imagine just being someone who. Oh God, this is not an ordinary scorpion. Oh, these are not ordinary scorpions. These are colossal. Oh, this is big boys. Oh. <laughs> 
Stingdom! Huh, Sting get get a, pet, a pet scorpion, call it Sting. Funny. Sting them in the name of all that is Morbius. <laughs> oh no, 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 Morbid don't. Oh, no. uh, they're gonna put that into theaters again because people memed it so much. Yeah, yeah, they memed it to the point it's gonna get a sequel as well. The executives actually think people like Morbius. What did we do? Mighty Morphin Mo Movin Transformation, let's go. I actually want Morbius to get lots of sequels in video games. You know, we and should do, we should cartoon spin-offs. Like, so I, I hate the Marvel Universe, but I will make an exception for this movie. The Marbin? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It made a more billion dollars in its opening week. All I know about the movie is that there's a song that says, Have sex, have sex, poop your yeah. Uh, you know, something funny happened about that because the whole meme with Morbius is that no one watched it, so people just make up, like, make up funny scenarios that didn't exist. Guys, we can go in here. Did you uh, know that the... Morbius featured a cameo from, uh, from you know, us at this stream? I did. It's even true. I didn't know about it. Did you know Mike stars as Mor John Morbius? We're in Undertale. Also. Uh. Okay, let me just finish my story, because I was telling a story. Uh, so, okay, so the meme is, haha, funny, no one watched Morbius, so you can just make shit up and, like, make up fake scenes from the movie. So I watched Joel, and he was talking about watching Morbius, and he's like, ah, oh, my favorite was when Doctor Who was uh, dancing naked at the, the mirror, and the song was, half sex, half sex. And I thought, haha, funny story, Joel. Funny fake scene from a movie that you didn't watch. And then I saw the scene, and it's real. Yeah, and then Lambda got really pissed off about Doctor Who being bad. And I, and I, I felt bad for, Mar uh, for Doctor Who fans. It's, it's literally been bad forever. Fucking attest for this. But what really angered me was the Timeless Child fuckery that happened last year, and I had to explain to Lizardman why this is destroyed yeah. again infinitely. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I forgot what my bindings were for getting potion. Okay, it's R. Alright. Oh no! And now... Good. It's That's video game. Oh no! It's Jabberjaw's oh, oh, shit. cousin, Slobberjaw. Okay. Oh no, it's Slobberjaw. But why, but why is he a jackal instead of a... Oh hey, there's a what Rebirth is... Fountain in here. He's just immediately killed, okay. Well, make the... He kinda... He's kinda strong, isn't he? Uh, he is teleporting. Yeah, there's some glitchiness happening. Make a portal. Uh, the the uh, the let's try at the entrance. Just so I won't get myself killed. Oh god, he's him! Yep. Well, what are your thoughts on the Timeless Child? Did you hate it as much as Lambda did? Can you make a portal for me, please? Oh, uh, sure, I made it. Okay. It's right in the middle of a bunch of Jackalmans, though, so... Watch out. Oh boy. Okay, I killed Careful. most of them with my with my right mouse button. Oh god, he can stun you? Wait, you're still fighting that guy? I don't even know where you are. Where where are you? Oh he he's here still. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, be careful, tonight. he's a hero. I take everything. Oh, no, this is good for me. Oh. Free loot, everyone. Come and get it. Wow. Thanks. I always wanted a bow that I can't use, Lizard. Thank you. No, yeah, you're, you're welcome. It's green. Yeah, well, what did you think of the Timeless Child spot? Is it as bad as Lambda says it is? I mean, I stopped watching a long time before that, but I... yeah. <laughs> That's about <laughs> all I can say. I just hate watch now. Yeah, I, I stopped watching when, uh, uh... What do you, what do you call it? The, the... The guy that did the have sex scene from Morbius, when that guy was Doctor, I stopped watching. Because I, I realized that Doctor Who is just basically this, the... 
a few kind of interesting stories and then a bunch of reoccurring things where it's like, haha, it's the Cybermen. Or haha, it's the Daleks. And sometimes it's the Cybermen and the Daleks. And I was like, hmm, I don't care for this anymore. Oh my god, the Cyberman. Yeah. There's always different stories as to how they get the Cybermen, but it's always related to death somehow. And every time the that episode was like, ah, yes, these people, when they die, they get put into this big computer. And I'm like, this is going to turn into Cybermen somehow. And then it did. I don't know. Eh, boring. I don't know. I just kind of hated the way everyone talked at that point. Yeah, same. I also hated how everything had to, like, be part of some overarching story. It, it couldn't just be self-contained. and had to, like, hype up the next thing they were going to reveal. Yeah, that's something else they did. It's like, hey, this season, look, this oh. spooky thing is going to happen and the whole universe is going to be destroyed. Oh, no. Oh, wait, it didn't Excuse happen. Excuse me for a moment. I forgot to do something. And then the next okay. season, it's like, oh, it's a different spooky thing and now the whole universe is going to be destroyed. Oh, wait, it didn't happen. Yeah, and sometimes you finish with one spooky thing, and then it's like, no, actually, it was the other spooky thing behind this one. Oh, stay tuned to see what it is. This is the problem with most settings with plots, as there's vertical scaling when it comes to spread instead of horizontal. Yeah. So you just get the Dragon Ball Z problem. Yeah. At least with Dragon Ball Z, they, they had to go get a driver's license. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I want the doctor to get a driver's license. That's probably an episode they already did. I'm going to pitch a game to the group. Mm -hmm. Lara Croft gets... No! <laughs> <laughs> no front-loaded end goals, please. No. Uh, also, there are spooky ghosts. I don't know what's Yeah, I've noticed that I'm running my ass away. I love spooky ghosts. At least we're getting some variety, finally. Me Can't wait to see it. jackal men and spooky ghosts and scorpions for the next six or seven streams. I don't know. I can hit the spooky ghosts with my deceased power. How come I can't poison ghosts? This isn't... this isn't realistic. Yeah. Uh, but the game I wanted to, uh, pitch to you guys is Time Breakers when it comes out. Time Breakers? What, 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 what game is that? I've never heard of it. Oh, recent like game that is. Actually, oh, okay. I, if, you, if, so, I, if you told me, I don't remember. Oh, yes. oh, you mean the Breakers? Yeah, Time Break, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that one. The, uh, dead by Daylight, but the villains can fire Kamehamehas. Mm hmm. Mm. I, I keep trying to make sure I'm not mistaking Dead by Daylight or whatever for another game that has the same, very similar yeah. names. Dying Light? Yeah, I'm like, die, dead, dying, dead, deadless. I dead. get that, I get those two dying mixed dead. up along with, uh... The dying dead, the video. Uh, what was the other one? There's another one, it's like seven days to die or something. I keep getting all those mixed up. Uh, the so every, so everything is just the same. I think the worst version of this that's ever happened to me is I was watching one of my friends play a Deus Ex Human Revolution. But since I hate David Cage so much, it, I read it as become human. And I'm like, what? Deus Ex become human. Oh no, there's slave songs in the back of Jensen's bus. Oh no. Oh yeah, remember, there's funny, funny slave subplots in, in this game. Remember? remember. The, the, the sequel to Detroit, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. <laughs> oh, I just remembered he's doing a Star Wars game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sad now. I saw the trailer for that and I'm like, oh, it's Star Wars, I don't care. And then looks... I saw it's David Cage, I'm like, oh, it's David Cage, I double don't care. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this um... looks kind of pretty. I don't like modern Star Wars after the Disney uh, acquisition. Let me, oh. Yeah. Obi-Wan's online. Oh yeah, I, I probably need to that no one asked for, though. Everyone wanted to Obi-Wan. Because uh, wow. they like the, the funny actor that goes, Hello there! And then, and then 
you never got a job at Star Wars again. I mean, I prefer Obi-Wan to fucking Boba Feet. Oh, oh, I'm Boba Feet. Look at me. I'm gonna go around with the little green man. Oh, uh, what's up? And That's well, boring. He was always the best part. Do you think they're doing so many spin-offs because it's impossible for them to continue the movies? Uh, they're doing, yes, actually. They're doing spin-offs, I think, because uh, they kind of fucked up with the movies. So they just want to do a bunch of spin-offs because people, they get people onto their, their streaming service. And then eventually they will probably, like, they, they'll probably do... Um, movies again, but they won't be doing it in Skywalker things. They'd just be like, here is John Star Wars oh, in a oh, Star Wars story. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, oh god, welcome to Lost Isolith. I don't know if that was an, I don't know if that joke really the worked. The spot was just getting eaten by hungry ghosts here, so I'm gonna help him out. I am running from the maggot army. I got a maggot army to oh. get I see. Hey, uh, I don't remember if it was you or Spot. I, I just remember it was in Dark Souls, and I think one of us hit one of the egg, one of those guys with eggs on their back. It was me. <laughs> and then it just killed all, and then it just killed all of us right when we were at the boss gate. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it's God always me doing the stupid shit. Okay, I leveled up. Uh. This looks like a boss ass boss store. But I know it's not. Is uh, it is a boss ass boss okay. store. Oh my god, it's a Nerubian from World of Warcraft. Oh, oh my god. I the didn't know we were in Ice Crown. Oh. oh god. It's got a dope song though. Scarabs are cool. Oh, I'm shit. gonna preemptively set down a portal. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably gonna need it. I'm also gonna set down a portal. He is kind of dead, I guess, but just in case. Oh, oh fuck. Up, up. I almost died because I stood still and aww, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't get hit by the poison because it will kill you. Okay, my portal is down. I forgot the portal button again. L. Thank you. No problem. Oh Let god, go. that is some Oh Jesus. Okay. Oi, oi, the oh no, my friends died. Poison just melts me. There we go, we did it. And I didn't die for once. Why is there no loot? Oh my god, we found a bug. Oh, okay, the loot's all here. Ah. <laughs> How did I get- how did I auto... thing? I don't know. Is it O? I don't know. How do I get anything? Uh, embroidered mantle of spirit, sure. Sure. Oh, scroll of invocation. Pupil's hey. crest. I think this good. No. Oh, it's kind of good. It's not very good. Hey, uh... Burn, come here. Oh, we got a second bag. Oh. I mean, oh, I got I... a second bag. I don't know if you did, but I, I, I did. Actually, I never even noticed the bags were there. I the just noticed day. now because I had way too much stuff and somehow it wasn't over encumbered. Hey, Burn, come here. Trying to... I can't see you. Okay, I have one room over. Burn, I got hey. a gift for you. Here we go with your stupid meme setup I've been doing for you. Here you go. I'm leaving. I don't like this place. Also, Lizard, I got a staff that I yoinked, but I think you deserve it more. Is it, is it lightning staff? No. No, then I do not like it. Sorry. It is code staff, but does a bunch of bullshit. I might keep it for Yeah. Me. Yeah, I, I only use lightning staff. Spot, what element staff do you use, mostly? I don't know. I guess lightning staff. Okay. Well, this one is a cold staff that would definitely work, so I'm gonna keep it then. It's actually thematically appropriate. Okay. Oh, shit. Don't forget to pick up the scrolls of invocation. Good. I forgot. Um, I will post it in the group. 
Ooh. Something to replace my loop of insight. Very nice. Oh. Here we go. I got a thing that gives a charm of servitude. Bonus to all pets. 10 armor plus 40 health. Did any of you want this? Give us a spot. Yeah, I already sold it. <laughs> oh. Y'all took too long to respond. Well, I, so I, I kind of needed it, but I was debating it. Okay, fuck. Feels bad. I mean, I can buy it back. It's fine. Uh, let me let me get it from the buyback. Oh, never mind. I can't because it just clears the buyback. Okay. Uh, whoops. Sorry. Uh, I failed. I thought Welcome I could buy it back. I don't like this Welcome. area. Welcome to Where? the big sandy desert. Oh, you didn't wait for me. I was at the I was at the town. Oh. We, just, we literally just like went one door over just to see what's outside. You, you already beat the game. You're already in China without me. Yep, we did it. Yeah, we're China. in China. You better hurry up. I'm gonna get my. Food. I'm gonna hang out in town. Just okay. In eight. I'll be back. Oh, scroll of invocation just here. Oh shit. Okay. I'm on my way. Spot, how did you let this happen? Oh my god. There's a hunting bow of trickery. I need that for my build. And now I do life seal with my my staff, so maybe I can live a little longer. That'd be cool. I need to check something. Uh. Oh yeah, wait for Lambda, by the way. Yep. Why? Because you went to town. Yeah. I'm gonna just hang out in town and eat my food and not eat our Oh, mic. but then I think we we will go through quests and stuff and you won't get it. Okay. Well, where are you guys at? We're in I'll the drop big, a portal sandy, for you. This the dessert area. Okay. I mean, uh, most of your build is just running around anyway, so you can just, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ah, I leveled up. Oh, nice. I heard that so clearly that I thought it was me and I got really excited. Then it wasn't me. Oh, Gatorman! Oh! Gatorman. Oh, there's Gatormans. There's Gatormans in here. Let's see, that's pretty cool. I like the this version of Wizard Men where it's just like bipedal, really ripped crocodile people. It's cool. Haha, <laughs> real ripped Shit. crocodile people? That's, that doesn't speak very clearly. <laughs> when are you guys going to do the I Cruelty Squad stream? It's not I, multiplayer. I don't even know what Cruelty Squad is because I no. might have literally forgotten already. You gotta do like a race. Where all of you stream at once, and then you do the multi-stream thing. Uh, and then you see who beats it first. Uh, oh, I got an Angon of Terror. Oh, it's a spear. Alright, I guess Angon means spear. And then Dangan means silver bullet. I gotta, I gotta bring up Dangan every time I can. That's right. I got a shrine effect that like raises my cat my attack speed, so I, I don't even need to cast anything. I can just spam my my little staff spells. 
pretty good. Angan. I don't like this area, it's too open. I need a corridor. True. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a thing that might be good, I don't know. But I saw that there's a game coming up. Uh, it's Warhammer 40k, but it's like an side... It's like a sort of a Castle Crashers slash... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, those, those side-scrolling shooters, yeah. And you play as an Auric, and you get loot, and I thought that was neat. And if it's got multiplayer, maybe we could play it, because, you know, it's fun. Yeah, but what is it intensive? Uh, it looked kind of cool, kind of intense. Aha, uh -huh. I mean CPU intensive. No, it's it literally like... like 2D graphics. It's oh, it's I see. Like... That's why I thought it might be cool because it looked interesting. But I don't know. Ah! They announced like 50 fucking Warhammer 40k games at the same time yesterday. It was crazy. That's from the same. Here, have this Doom inspired game. I'm like, you should have done this, but actually in the 90s. I this mean, yeah, but... Hard. Boomer shooters are, are a thing now, so I guess they're getting into that. I mean, I saw that and I was immediately like, ah, yes, I, I want this. The thing is, I, never, I didn't even grow up with boomer shooters because I, I just played Lego games as a kid. I don't know. Maybe they gotta make Warhammer 40k Lego games. <laughs> I like how me and Spot are separated from the rest of the group. Yeah, yeah oh. y'all just having a like a fun time with some caves and some bugs, and we're like fishing in a uh, oasis. Oh, there's a cave. Yeah. Oh, funny scarabs. Called Bone Scarabs, haha, <laughs> I'll Bone Scarab you. Oh, there's a lot of groobs. I don't like the groobs, they're very ugly. Rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. I feel like this game is exhausting all its enemy variety. We haven't hit the vehicles yet. We haven't had repeated enemies yet, but I feel like eventually we're just gonna get a bunch of repeated enemies. We got Gatorman, we got Jackalman, we got. Uh, no, those are the Gatorman. We have oh, okay, what is that? We have Burns, we have Reese's. I like how this cave was actually just a tunnel. Oh god, they're vibrating. Watch out. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Have you ever seen videos of, uh, like, crocodiles and alligators doing their death rolls? I think oh, uh, shit. sometimes. Oh, no, it's pretty it interesting. Like, they don't... I'll drop a portal for you, Spot. Oh, oh god, it's a, it's a hero. Yeah, like, uh, they don't, they don't necessarily bite things off. What they do is they, uh, they grab on with their jaws and then they spin really fast in the water and tear it apart. Pretty yeah, cool. that's what they do when you stick, when you get a big stick and you, you, you Oh, there's a big them. lizard. I died. Something exploded on top of me. Yeah, it'll do that sometimes. Don't worry about it. Reese put down a portal. I died. I put down portal. Use my portal. I 
There we go. Hey, I leveled up. Nice. Yeah. Um, that was not the. Uh, is it this one? And then my portal works. This is literally just taking me back to the rebirth fountain. No, no, there's a portal right here. Use my portal. Okay, let me just level up, please. Uh, yeah, I, I am. I don't know. I am not going to the right places at all. Burn, do you want a bunkler? Yeah, you want a shield? I'm. <laughs> I realize my belt's dual hand it, dual wielding, so. Well, you can have it anyway. I'm not picking it back up. Okay, I level up there, and then I. I don't know, I'll just pump it all into intelligence, so I'm really smart. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. I'll level myself up just slightly. It's getting to the point where it takes so long to level up that it's not really that fun. <laughs> it's like, ah, yes, I get to spend three points and then wait for five days. Well, let's walk all the way back. Oh yeah, there's another thing they announced that I... I thought was pretty funny. They they gonna put the Spider Man game on PC. Spider Man came before Bloodborne. Yeah, I mean I think they're probably gonna do something with Bloodborne, and that's the only reason they haven't done a, a port yet. Bloodborne on Alexis. They they're probably gonna the like board. they're probably gonna like do a slightly better edition or something. I don't know. And then yeah, when they do that, they'll be like, hey, look, it's for PC as well. Haha. -ha. But yeah, Spider-Man. It's funny because when it came out and people were saying, oh, it should be on PC. A lot of uh, annoying PS5 people were like, oh, no, this is for only for PlayStation. Haha, -ha. cry more. Remember and now they can't. I'm kind of like that, but for Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're kind of like that because... Uh, Data miners and stuff. Yeah. That's something up there. Not. Something big that's I not like how really I enjoy that you cannot enjoy it. Missing in the morning and caravans being attacked. No, because we got the, the, the PS4 version is fine because it the same better allows stuff for more like the Calm Dungeon to exist. But like Calm if they dungeon. do a remake, it would be it's... much harder to like actually save better it. You have to. You would have to make it PS5 exclusive. And when I mean PS5 exclusive, I mean you can't have it compatible with the PS4. Otherwise, mm -hmm. people with the PS4 could just save edit, and it would just be moot. Excuse me, cum dungeon? Yeah, the cum oh, yeah. dungeon. The cum dungeon, okay, so basically a hacker was able to make, using the save editor function, a uh, third party tool was able to make his own cu custom shallow dungeons. And the Come Dungeon is literally the best dungeon in the game because, like, one of the bosses is just like waltz off a cliff right when you just enter it, and you just get mm -hmm. a, a billion XP and souls. And yeah, and because of that, you, you it, just you just load into it, and then you like hang out there, then you go back to the thing to redo it, and you just keep doing that. You get a lot of uh, Come points. And the reason I it's cool for everyone doing PVE, but it totally has destroyed PVP. And that's why I play that game for. Yep. Almost a platinum Bloodborne until, and now I have to do with the Chelsea and stuff. Everyone, I want to say just Bloodborne down. I'm like, I can't do this. Anymore. And the entire reason that it's bad for PvP is, like, hardcore dedicated PvP is kind of gated by getting specific like uh, gems, mostly curse gems that require you to go into like curse feather dungeons. And to did operate in some of those custom dungeons are nuts. They completely like stop being gatekeeping with the grind, so anyone can just go get it, which is really annoying. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know what these enemies are, but they look kind of weird. Yeah, 
the TRDR, I, I have reasons why I prefer to be on a console, and that's for security reasons. That's it. And it's not me going, all oh, my preferred console's better. Like, I have literally every console in a good PC in my house, so... I just wanted to clarify, because I might sound psychotic. Oh, they're riding a uh, little hyenas or something. What the hell? But you, you get what I mean. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh my god, they're You already told me. Uh, yeah. They're all run Naruto running. Are these just, like, sand ninjas? Yeah. I hate yeah. Who are the sand uh, ninjas. It sounds like a slur. I hate this. Yeah, they're sand ninjas. What is, what is, what is the axe woman in Naruto? Yeah, oh yeah, it is because yeah, there's a yeah. hidden sand village, and then there's the funny yeah, guy who makes who has a big jar of sand, and he breaks yeah, your arms and, uh, and legs. That's, and then that's kind of like uh, there was a news story. Oh no. Yeah, what? and there was a news story about a kid. I think he buried himself in sand because it. And then the news story went Naru Naruto sand ninjas. Naruto sand ninjas. Hey, that's pretty cool. You gotta love when the news are just completely out of touch and say weird stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, but it was also the fact that I think the kid died from burying himself in sad. Yeah, he just got isekai to Naruto World. It's fine. Okay. That joke is a little dark for the stream. I know, but it's... Look, give me a break. It's like past midnight and I'm... I'm high on the... Caffeine and the uh, <laughs> antihistamine pills, and it's really funny. Uh, I yeah, see so spots. Twitch got TOS. Oh no. No. <laughs> it's not gonna whoa. get TOS for a isekai joke. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! You got you got antihistamine and caffeine. Are they gonna fight? Yeah, they are because antihistamine makes me sleepy, so it's like a downer, and then. Uh, <laughs> Caffeine is making me get all fidgety, so it's weird. It's it doesn't wake me up. It just makes me nervous You take like five Benadryl and then just down like a Red Bull. You're like, I'm ready. Let's go Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm kind of there honestly Don't be I knew someone who Drank monster energy and nothing else for like days just to wait, stay awake yeah, I'd, I'd just sleep. That was better. The problem is when I'm on allergy medication, it's like I, I need to sleep all the time, every time. There, th there's a danger to this type of logic where, oh no, I'm sleepy from my allergy pills. I'll take uh, energy drink to stay up. But then yeah. you're gonna be like, I'm too jittery. I need to calm down. I should take this alcohol. And now you're dead. Alcohol is both an upper and a downer, yeah. depending on how Remember much you take. No, they don't sell it here, because I am foreign, haha. <laughs> oh god, it's another hero. He's a hero. The, f the something one, I don't know what that says. The faceless uh, one. Faceless one, Dune Raider hero. Oh, it's from Dune, my favorite movie. Yeah. I so, I die. went back and actually watched the new movie, and it's only like half the book. Why did they it, do this? Because uh, the first movie tried to do the whole book at once, and uh, it got really fucking messy and terrible. Yeah, but they have like five other books to go for. Like, how are you going to do a? They're not going to do all. Them? They're not going to do the whole thing. They're just going to do like two books, I think. So, they should do at least the original trilogy and just ignore like Children of Doom. I think that's what they're going to do. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of ballsy what they did because they didn't know they were gonna get a sequel approved. So they they literally made the the movie banking on that it would make enough money to, for a sequel to be greenlit. And then because they did that, we might get a proper like a, a proper thing instead of what most movies trilogies get, where it's like the first movie is a standalone story and then the other two movies are continuing from each other. I don't know if you noticed, but that's how a lot of trilogies end up going. Yeah, but, but it's like, you know, if the first one 
doesn't like I think the thing is that the first one if the first one doesn't do well enough for sequel I mean it's still a complete story otherwise you're just ending on a yeah. cliffhanger that never gets resolved it reminds me of this what this this one game I uh, watched a video of uh, a Nitro Red video of <laughs> where it just ends where they were where they thought they you know they were planning for a sequel so the game just ends with the hero like being betrayed and like just trapped <laughs> forever and yeah, it's like, it just ends like, like that That's and it's funny. like there was going to be a sequel but the, nope it, it was never meant to be so that's just the ending now the worst version good. of this is the uh, Yimineko anime adaptation oh but what about the the berserk anime <laughs> that ends on the fucking eclipse okay. what about the know. berserk manga which ends on fucking child griffith it's not so bad. That's not so. Oh god, there's a. St uh, okay. Ancient Scorpos. <laughs> that scorpion has a knife. I'm de I'm out of here. Fuck this. Yes, Egypt is scary. Oh is yeah, giant. A... Oh yeah, fucking giant scorpions don't put you off. But the moment you give the scorpion a knife, now it's a problem. It is. Yeah, it's giant it scorpions, but they live in London. And so That's because they know how to use tools, Reese. Yeah, but why would they need tools to kill you if they got their big, scary tail full of deadly venom? Yeah, exactly. They know something that we don't. Hey, uh, here's a here's a cool idea. Uh, a scorpion, but instead of poison, he shoots condiments out of his stinger, and he works at a fast food place. Oh no, he's going to inject. He's going to inject ketchup into your veins. Ew. That is, that's not very healthy. I yeah, like, like you get like a, a person, like a rowdy customer, being like really annoying, and then he just stabs him in the eyeball and fills it up with ketchup. <laughs> god. Oh god! And, oh god! Don't do that. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I don't have it. You, know? you just, you just. Hmm? Remember misfits. Remember the dude who could kill people by. After they drink milk, he just manipulates the milk inside them and kills them from inside. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fun, a fun character. Uh, Dairy Mancy. You know, I had an, have another stream up while doing this, and something like was a nature plane, and I thought it was this chat playing it. Oh, that'd be a good idea. That's right, you need to do the meme and play uh, Revengeance yeah. again. Yeah, you gotta play Revengeance. Again. Metal Gear Rising. You gotta play V Rising Revengeance. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, we should all play V Rising and become vampire people. I don't I know am what it is. Beyond burnt out on that. Oh, God, no. I can't start yeah, over. Yeah, Lambda, Lambda loves the game and she wants to start over from level zero. No, I have spent over fucking like 84 hours in like. A week on that game. I can't. See, this is why I couldn't get into Ark again because it's like, ah, yes, I, I know what's coming. God, I, I, I am, I am very full. I, I ate a lot of beef today. And I feel very full. It's kind, kind of uncomfortable. Why did I eat so much? Food is tasty, of course. Mm. I like this eyeball pet. It is very cute, pet. It is a very cute pet. Mine's just a ball. Mine's not an eyeball, it's just a ball. The, the alligator people are so slow, though. <laughs> yeah, he's, he didn't even feel like he was threatening or anything. He's just kind of walking around. So like, oh, here I go, gonna get my wagon to sell my vegetables, and then we kill them. <laughs> We're just murdering everything. This is, I love this game, it was just like, walk around destroying monster villages for no reason. And then someone just goes like, oh, you saved me! Yeah, and then, and then like, 
I mean, I think so, because we keep killing hero monsters, so it's like they're, they're like the defenders of the villages and stuff. They're like, we are going to stop you. So I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't think even think we're doing it out of malice. We're just kind of... We're, we're just, just brain kinda... dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, imagine that as, like, imagine that as, like, the main villain, just, like, someone who's not even <laughs> consciously doing anything. Yeah, you know what it is? It's like the Undertale Genocide run, but we don't know what we're doing, so we're just, like... It's like the Undertale Genocide run, but you can't speak English, so you're just playing games the way you think they're supposed to be played. <laughs> like, and it's oh like, my, there's oh like this whole story going on about how you're a terrible person, and you're just like, haha, I can't understand this. Ah, oh, that's not gonna stop me, because I can't read. You know, that's actually how it would have probably gone back in the day if Undertale existed for people in my country, because we didn't know English, so we were just like... We would just play games intuitively, so we would probably just grind out enemies and kill them all, and the game would call us terrible people and we wouldn't even know it. And you're like, wow, yeah. the skeleton man boss is really hard compared to the rest of the game. Yeah. It's like, wow, there sure is a lot of talking. I wish I knew what they were saying. Also, I don't know why, but I went and attacked the Lizard Man village all by myself, and it's kind of hilarious because I'm really squishy. We found a cave over here. Oh, okay, I'll be there eventually when I've killed this village. There's a man killing his own people. Yeah, they're not as cool as me. Ooh, I sure am dying a lot. There we go. Slowly whittling them down. Oh. Ah! No, that's rude. We can't have the way I'm Come on. Yeah. Talking about the things that attack. Yeah. You heard me. I was saying you look like them. I'm saying that you think I do, which is why you're probably right. Damn, that's rough. I'm just a cat. You are a Neko Chan. Oh. oh, did you see the the game that got announced? That's like you play as a stray cat. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh, I I thought you I thought you were talk I thought it was called I was like the first thing that popped up in my mind I'm like hey, it which was completely wrong by the way was just gay cat. Yeah, gay um, cat. I would play the fuck out of that. Not gonna lie. Ow! Ow! Shit! Ow! Mm, don't hit me with your arrows. Mm, they bury themselves into my skin. Duty the why am I still soloing entire Lizard Man villages? I, I should stop and go and meet you. Oh, yeah. drop a portal for me, please, because I died. <laughs> Need help? Oh, you. there's two Jackal heroes here. I thought it was just one. Oh God! It's the hero in the in his in the, in his sidekick who acts as a foil to him. Oh. Is it the is it the kind of attacks jokes every few seconds? No, he acts as a foil, so he wraps around him. Yeah, that's right. This is why you bring me along as through this oh, insightful commentary. Also, I just had a stupid moment. I looked at the, the map that you get when you have a portal. And I realized, oh yeah, this is actually Egypt. With like, the Nile and everything. And then I, I thought, oh yeah, the other map was probably Greece, and I just didn't notice the whole time. <laughs> I was like, hmm, what is this this uh, fictional land called Grecia? I do not know. Hey, look, my bear just posted the Bear Brothers. Oh, oh he did. I can't believe the stupid characters I made for a stupid meme comic is now just canon. I guess. I'm waiting for the sequel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting too. No, the se the it, the se it's oh, an indirect. Shit. The indirect sequel is in my campaign. Yeah, I'll drop a portal for you. So I know, thing. Okay, Slaughterjoy is back and just destroyed me. 
Oh god, it's 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 the second cover of Oh my god. I thought he died, but he didn't. Just like us. Oh my god, he is ac oh my god, he is actually our arch nemesis, our rival. He died again. Okay. Ooh, Kandar of Thunder. What is Kandar's? Oh, that's a sword. I don't care. Hey, guys, uh, do you want any of this? <laughs> Red Bear wants the RGB. You mean the GIF? Oh, God, the, the seizure inducing one. Uh, there sure is a nice. Uh... I've dropped a fire staff and a fire sword if anyone wants it over here. There, I'm good. I only play with lightning. Someone dropped a Kinder of Thunder up there. Yeah, if it was me, because I don't need no swords. Ah. Uh, I'm all about the lightning, baby. Turn you use swords on you. Or you use axes. Okay. I'm more like oh. a heavy weapon. Like okay. And it's dual wielding. Spot. What, what sort weapons, of wacky guy. shenanigans did you get into this time? Oh, okay. There's insta kill harpies here. Oh, That's another cool. another hero. Yeah, insta kill harpy hero. Wow, I only had one HP. <laughs> uh, but, and now they're chasing after me. Mm -hmm. well, I to get them uh, oh boy, I think yeah, I only got like maybe oh, another half hour in me. Oh boy. I'll tell you, the, these these pills, they, they do be, they do be hidden. They do, they really do be that way, they, if you, they, if you could do to, to do th them better. Yeah. If, if you, if you, do, if, if you wanted to do you so much, you would do anything? Oh, I just died immediately. I yeah, same. <laughs> Did I run into the AOE? I'm like... I think we both ran into the, the death poop. I dropped a portal for you too. Thank you. God, I love. I just love how brainlessly we're moving through this. That we're just stepping. We're not right even on game. <laughs> we're just, oh hey, the, something that looks dangerous steps on it. Yeah, oh, it's no. red. I like it. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> health potion. Let's go. I get healed. I just, oh no. Yeah, red is health color. Did you know that if there's a puddle of blood and you step on it barefoot, you're, you will absorb the blood through your skin and restore your health, IRL? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's also how you get diseases. Wait, don't you know uh, that the sun is the source of all life, so you should step on it and you become <laughs> immortal? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Hey, I have a I have a question for everyone. Did any of you ever play uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver? Yes. No, not yet. Yes. Okay, I was for some reason I was watching a a long play of it today while I worked, and I was reading the comments on YouTube and I saw the stupidest fucking comment and I want to mention it because it annoyed me. Because it was like a guy going like, Ah, oh, this truly was the best Souls slash Bloodborne-like of its time. Uh, FromSoft should totally do a remake. And uh, I guess their logic was because you... Yeah, but like, it's not a Souls-like game. It's I know, just... it's not! You, you do stupid fucking puzzles half the time. And yeah, then you get like, like existential oh. dialogue over like, Destiny and Predestination. And that's the series. Yeah, well, like, I guess the point of it was you die and you don't really die. You, like, go back. But, like, it's not even a Dark Souls game. Under that logic, you're like... I, the whole logic of why it was a Dark Souls game for them, I think, was uh, that it's dark and, like, gothic. And that's it. That's Dark Souls. Ghosts and Goblins is my favorite Dark Souls. Yeah. Like, Plain Saints Torment is a Dark Souls game because... <laughs> You, oh my god, I hate this logic. Yeah, remember I, when I played YouTube Baroque comments. for like two seconds. <laughs> what was that? A game that came out on the Sega Saturn, I think, but they remade it for the Wii. And you play for two seconds. Yeah. Well, wait, wait.
which game was that? Baroque. Baroque, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've never heard of it. It's actually one of my favorite games. You basically oh, oh. get a gun and they tell you to go into this dungeon and kill God at the top of the tower. But if you die, you have to start all the fuck over and then... Wait, so why did you play only like two seconds of it? Did it crash? I don't know, I guess I was just like testing Wii emulation stuff. It's good, but it is... Most people would not have the patience for it. That's the best way I can describe that game. Fair. A lot of older games are like that because you didn't get a lot of games. Yeah. I actually played Tower of Druaga recently and that game is kind of like that, but it's like... There's like 60 levels and you have to find a hidden treasure uh, in each I, level. I guess this guy is having problem with the alligator people, I guess. Yeah, it's okay, we'll just randomly kill them anyway. Baroque is actually a Rock giant metaphor for Gnosticism because you find out later. Do you even care about spoilers, Spot? Are you actually ever going to stream Baroque? I don't know. Okay, I'll keep it to myself, but like, your main mission is to go kill God with a gun at the top of the tower. But you only get one shot with your super powerful weapon. But if you fail, you start from the very beginning. So it's kind of like RPG. Uh, the gator people. It's the best way I can put it. Also, Spy oh, kind of got cut off there. Yeah, you were talking about the other game that was like that. Yeah, hold on, my freaking the microphone. Your, your, your arm giant is like... tower of boxes fell over. Yeah, that's exactly right. No, uh, uh, <laughs> uh no, there's like an old. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's an old arcade game that's Tower of Draga, where you have to like go through 60 levels and there's like a hidden treasure in each level that's... You have to do some pretty stupid stuff to discover half the time. But if you get to the end without getting like all the important ones, uh, you... Go beat the final boss, but it's like, oops, no, you can't beat the final boss because you don't have like all the best stuff, so you just get sent back. To get whatever shit you missed. Oh, so you just have to keep going and hope you get all the stuff. Yeah. Interesting. So uh, for a second there, I thought that, that he was named with that one new lizard that all you see added on their wiki. Like, Sark. Wait, there's another lizard? I thought I was the only one. Oh, you oh. Did, oh did the RUC literally went through an arc now where they decided to make anti-versions of the main... Uh, Mike's group. So there's oh. like a counter to Lizardman, there's a counter to Reese, etc. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see that because I'm very vain and I like when people write about me. Oh, when we get the page, let, let me, I'll, I'm just gonna save you the spoiler, just like every other RUC page, it involves, it involves the, uh, it involves a whole lot of, uh, eating organs and, uh, you know, <clears throat> The R word. <laughs> oh, but but not for me. My page in the RUC is pretty chill. It's just like a lizard man. Uh, get man uh, sells <laughs> sells uh, illegal weapons. That was my crime that I did. Yeah, as opposed to the RUC endorsing the Indigo Corporation, which Indigo Syndicate, which makes weapons, but legally, you know, so it's okay. Yeah. What what was that? Look, it's all, a, it's all a misunderstanding. The thing is, in Brazil, when they call something legal, they mean it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I'm not kidding. That's the that's the, the word. Oh, does they that say, mean the REC is just criticizing you for selling? Yeah, they're just saying my, my weapons aren't cool. <laughs> Uncool. And that it's and that it's doubly and uh, misunderstanding because they're using cool literally. So my weapons are actually hot. <laughs> so it's actually a compliment through like three hey, how, bad translation. Hey, how, many layers, not hurts. how many layers of colloquialism are you on? <laughs> oh, I, I I saw something so stupid today. I I. I I was watching, like, I was, like, looking at Reddit. Yeah? Because I had nothing else to do, and so I saw oh, their, uh... Yeah, I know. 
but it was a uh, okay so we have a lot of uh restaurants here that can't actually translate their menus properly to english but they still try because you gotta appeal to the foreigners yeah oh boy and it was like the the desserts menu for a restaurant and it, it was just like direct translations from google translate and it was really funny so you had like funny desserts like nut pie <laughs> Or uh, Sweet Home, Doomed Milk. Oh, Doomed Sweet Milk sounds amazing. No way, they're selling the uh, classic <laughs> NES game Sweet Home? Yo, yeah. Spot, you need to stream Sweet Home. Oh. And they also had, they also had a hit, a hit dessert that everyone knows called Camel Drool. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't know if any of those will ever uh, beat Cowboy Leg. Uh, they also had Sky Bacon. Sky Bacon's pretty good. Y'all should try it. Where does it come from? Sky. sky pig. I see. I see. Flying Sky Pigs with wings. Yes. Yeah, Sky Bacon. You gotta have the Sky Bacon and the Doomed Milk. Oh yeah, also Doomed Milk is just condensed milk, but our word for condensed is very close to uh, Doomed. And uh, it's just so, like a typo that they direct translate it and put it on their menu. Ah, I see, it's the Doom tie-in. Yeah, Doom yeah. Your mind went to a much nicer place than mine, Reese. It reminds me of a touristic announcement for, like, Yucatan, and then they just write, Next time you're in Yucatan, remember to swim in our big boobs. <laughs> 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 well, now I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're talking about cenotes, which is what they're actually called, but they sound similar to uh, the, what's it called, the, like, big adjective version of a different word that starts with an S, but it sounds the same. And that's where that comes from. It's always fun when that happens. Escaping with some of the temple's most uh, I love mistranslated things. It, it makes me laugh. He has gone to Memphis, it happens a lot because all the, the shitty restaurants the get really bad Google translations of things. Oh yeah, there was another one that I saw because we have like a lot of colloquialisms for uh, like types of coffee you can get. So it's like you can get like an espresso, you can get an espresso with a little bit of milk, you can get, uh, like, really not very strong espresso, like a bunch of stuff. But then, the, the translations were just, you can get a boy, boy with milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy syrup. <laughs> yeah, you can get boy, and you can get boy with milk. Do you not want boy with milk? Uh... <laughs> So it was, uh, no, I just imagine, like, a boy holding a glass of milk, and he's just standing there. Yeah, he's just got, like, a glass, like, not even a glass of milk, he's just got, like, a little symbol of milk. It's silly. It's pretty funny, though. And we got a lot of stupid colloquialisms for stuff, like, for types of beer, you can get the prince and the the... King and uh, the Imperial, and it's all a bunch of random names that we picked for different portions of beer, and it changes depending on the part of the country you're in. So if you ask for something on one part of the country, it doesn't exist. And the worst part is with bread. Like different types of bread have different names, but they change depending on the region of the country. So. Like, one time we went on holiday to the south, and my mom w was gonna buy bread, and she was like, I want seven breads, please, and we were thinking it was like little bread rolls, right? And okay. then the lady just gets like seven giant loaves of bread and starts stuffing them in a, in a, <laughs> in a, in a bag, and she's like, yeah, you want seven bread, right? And I'm like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, you gotta watch out for local colloquialisms. Hmm. Or else you die with bread poisoning. Oh, oh, skeletons. That's new. Why is there a an, an altar with a green skull on it? Uh, yeah, I know, right? It's very, very video gamey. 
dark obelisk. I'm gonna poison it. Man, I thought this. I thought we were done with skeletons, but actually, we're we're just getting like skeletons again. Well, we. Oh wait, the mummies are. They're mummies, actually. That's kind of oh, cool. Oh, I was about to say. Oh. I like mummies. They're pretty dope. I think they should be used more in uh, video games. I killed it, but I died as a sacrifice. Someone put my portal down. Okay, thanks. Yeah, someone put a portal down. Because I'm okay, totally going to walk being, over anyway. I'm being chased, by the way. <laughs> While I put a portal down. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Dead. Yeah, fun. Alright, I'll try hey, poisoning the mummies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you something gross. Have you ever heard about corpse wax? Not really. Maybe. Sounds delicious. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Uh, it's the thing that happens where the fats of the body as it decomposes become a soapy, waxy-like substance that covers the body. And yeah, you oh. just turn into soap. Pretty cool. Can you clean? Okay, so can corpse wax be used as a cleaning product? I don't know, maybe. You can make soap out of, like, human fat. It's been done before by very bad people. How good has uh, emulsifier is that, out of curiosity? A what? Like, as a emulsifying agent, how good is it? I don't like, know. What's the consistency? Okay. The consistency of corpse wax is waxy, so it's just hard. It, the, the corpses look cool though, because it like spreads all over them, and they look like they're just covered in weird stuff. It's very interesting. Oh, if you break the the totems, the skeletons disappear. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, I should have been focusing down on the the totems all this time. Getting a little wacky time in here. Oh shit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so inside is nothing but beetles, so you don't have to worry about skeletons. Yeah, I killed the totem, I did it, I saved the day, I did it, everyone. Yeah. Also, I leveled up earlier, but there was no opportunity to just, like, spend oh, yeah, let's, like let's wait for default to spend the points, because it's very important. Yeah, the most important, you might say. Yeah, let's wait. Everyone wait. Everyone stand around default. Five unused skill points? What? Yeah, better better spend them, fucko. Oh yeah, we got two skill points for existing. Hmm. Alright. I'll need... put them all in Storm Mastery. I'm gonna eat, so... Oh. I'll leave myself and just hang out at the entrance. Okay, enjoy your food. By the way, there's bugs in there. Bug snacks. To play that game. I like the the remix that Joel did for their theme song. Very good. All right. Okay, so I guess those are what I got are just passives. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. Are we ready to proceed? Procedo Fofido? Yes. I, I can eat. Ah, I there's can, bugs. I can eat enemies' dreams now, apparently. That's pretty edgy. Like, no well, joke, that's one of the skills I have. No I way. You... Eat your dreams, yummy dreams, tasty. No way. You can eat dream SMP, so I don't have to. Him on Twitter. <laughs> on, uh, I don't have to see anything related to him on YouTube anymore. <laughs> mm hmm. Didn't know. I didn't know you were such a, a dream head, Burn. Uh, I actually had a little kid when I was at Maine just walk up to me while I'm at a vet shop talking about dream, like Neil me and I got really on. You know, oh, Reese, whenever we're a side team, I'm just gonna sneak delay, put it in the playlist. <laughs> no, the you're, no, 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 you're just gonna put YouTube kids content in there. I do that literally all the time, and then it makes. Cringe and it's fun. 
Yeah, you did that once for me, and it was like this fever dream of a YouTube video, and I, I think I had some kind of like <laughs> mild brain hemorrhage, and I don't remember the rest. It was like this Todd McBane animation video. I don't even know. I don't know what it was. I just know it was confusing and scary. Are you talking about the Spider-Man L stuff? Oh, no, it was, this was after that. Yeah, I, I, it still exists in forms that I have found, and then I put it on to annoy Reese at times. Ah, so it's Baby Shark. Ah, oh, Baby Shark, god. What even is that meme? It's just a song that's really repetitive, and so it sticks in your brain, and kids want to listen to it because they're dumb and don't know what stuff is. Then like, you, literally, you're forced to listen to it. You want to know what my fir how I first learned about Baby Sharks? It was mm -hmm. in how I first even heard about it. Uh, I was literally, I was just streaming. I was just streaming like my something bad RPG Maker game, you know. And there was a scene with Jabberjaws. Jabberjaw and his family, and one of the users who have in my chat who had no idea what, who the REC is, I'd always like, this isn't a reference to the Baby Sharks meme, is it? I'm like, no, this is this is something Curse. that this is something that is comparatively maybe equally bad. Yeah, all shark related things are now Baby Shark, don't you know? Hey, can someone drop a portal for me? Okay, thanks. But re, but lizard, what about my IKEA trend shark? I can't be baby shark related. Everything is shark is baby shark now. Real Damn sharks it. are now baby sharks. Jabba Jaws, baby shark. Can someone drop a portal for me? I'm dead. Yeah, there's a portal right there. Okay, I'm gonna go to refold Lamal portal. I'm here, haha. Lemao. I like when people read uh, abbreviations just out loud like that. It's really funny. Like instead of saying R O F L M A O, you just say Ruffle Mao. Haha, Ruffle Mao X Does that mean rope means rolling on the laughing floor? Yeah. Okay. It's because. because... Oh, I gotta, I gotta look at that. Oh no. What is this? Oh! I picked a pretty good Lizard Man art, actually. I, I'm okay with this. Whoever picked the image has taste. You mean on the wiki? I just yeah. heard. I think that's I just... like the only good thing about that. Yeah, well, because there, there's a lot of, a lot of different Lizard Men concepts and I, I like when they're giant f like they're giant fucking monsters that could just destroy everything that's pretty cool and apparently they tried to cheat us good thing that they ended up putting some wheeled vein washing chip in him yeah they lobotomized him oh heroically of course oh, of course you know what that means he, yeah you have to fight him fight him as a man I can't fight anything, I'm small and squishy. Where the I'm just fuck a small is... little guy. Where the fuck is the portal? The text uh... in my game just disappeared! Uh, don't worry, don't worry about it. Uh, uh, oh, my... <laughs> According my to my copy of Tomodachi Life, you ended up fighting Tank Kill and won. Who, me? Yep, you and Tomodachi went like, along with most of y'all. Damn, nice. Somehow, In real life, Tank Hill could probably just wreck my shit. I didn't even try anything, so my Lambda ended up getting married to Helsing Alicorn. <laughs> I didn't even try anything to happen. I find this to be appropriate, despite my sexuality. It's, uh, okay. I think it's way, card, so. I hope you realize that my game crashed. Yeah, oh, no. it just said that you fell. You, you, you've left the game. Oh well, let's wait for default for a second. Yeah, I left the game of my own volition, of course. I didn't uh, lose connection or crash or anything. It was totally, I know. But, uh, it was completely deliberate. Mm -hmm. It happens. This game is very stable, you see. Yeah, of course. 
Uh, well, who did I end up marrying, or was I just alone? You were alone. I, I, All right. No, you were next door. Door two. Two of married to uh, one of my mo most close married couples. Uh, has to oh. make me too, and Zoid Boob. Yeah, okay, that's pretty fitting. And my game crashed. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh. well, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I oh no, they are used to using their crash guns. <laughs> oh oh the no, thing the RUC is. is using. I'm taking it. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, got it. Bye. Hey, Reese. What is it? Our embassy in got? the RUC area, they're, they're using their crash syndrome on us. The crash! Oh no, crash o the crash ocalypse syndrome. Oh no, I have a slight headache. It must be because of the mind ray guns. Exactly. I got a bow. Does anyone want a bow? Nah. A stinky. I wanted something better, but no, I just got shit that I can't use. I don't need that anyway. I'll just use default gear. Because I'm cool. Oh, I leveled up. Okay, everyone stop and wait for me. Oh my god, I'm so. Village of Sun. How far? I'll drop a portal for you. Let's go. Oh, let me level up. Alright, I leveled up. Where the fuck is this place? It's a terrible place. Fuck Next me. time I level up, I'm gonna get some fun shit. Hell yeah. Oh, I can I can get a thing that lets me move between enemies at lightning speed. Oh, neat. It goes zip zap. Yeah, it goes zip zoom. Zip zap. Y'all in Sims 4 and see how that goes. Oh, yeah, the, did you see the thing they announced for The Sims 4 recently? No. Hmm. They announced the werewolves back. I thought they were already in the game. It looks the worst. We'll just show it it looks. It. it looks terrible. They look like actual furries. It's <laughs> awful. So like what werewolves are. Yeah, well, no, because the original werewolves in Sims 3, uh, they they looked like werewolves, like weird wolf people from the 80s. But now they look like furries, and they have collars, and they, they actually look shit like on the floor. Like, this is not an exaggeration. Yeah, and they're all really buff and shirtless, but only in their wolf forms. I think, Reese, someone on the development team. <laughs> it's it's actually really weird. They look actually like furries. It's very strange. I mean, technically, the werewolves are all kind of furries already. No. No, it's different. You can get, like, okay, look at Skyrim werewolves, and that's how you should make werewolves. Yeah, werewolfism should be a curse from a demon yeah. god. Like, it should be a, a, a scary thing, you should get all this, like, distended and, like, lanky and weird and, and also very strong and powerful and scary. You shouldn't look like a furry. I mean, but they look like furries, they look like humans, except they have muzzles and they're furry. Some people accuse my <sighs> being furry. That's a cat girl, that's different. Cat girls aren't furries. Uh, by the way, uh, what happened to this place? I kind of wasn't paying attention to the story. You blew it up, Reese. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, furry furry pack announced. Also, there's still a village here we haven't genocided. I got to go back. Lizard, I got the perfect comparison. Mm -hmm. What they did to furries is what uh, Twilight did to vampires. Yeah, basically. And it's like so far removed, it's just, they're just residual elements. No, 
Hey everyone, come uh, to the skeleton temple. There's still a village we haven't murdered. Oh. Yes. People, please, you're going the wrong way. I see you on the map. Uh, where is your... I saw your icon for a moment, but now Go it's... to the left, go to the left. Whoever went into the mysterious tomb, come on out. It's right behind it. Hello. Oh, hello. It's over here. We got a murder. Jackalman. Yeah, more killing. This is... Metal Gear Rising music in the back. Back on the I... other teams making this. Ah! Rules of nature. Now it's Red Sun. It's kind of weird how uh, Revengeance suddenly became relevant again, and just because of the memes. And it's a legitimately good game, so. It is, but it's weird that it suddenly just showed up again. I see nothing but all I'm strong. Yeah. I think I think maybe a bunch of uh, VTubers were playing it, and I guess that might have done it. And also Maxor did a funny video. I'm seeing a lot of uh, characters pop in and out of existence, by the way, so I might be crashing again. Or, or uh -oh. I might be the one crashing next. Do you like how... Do you like how people started making Morrowind edits again? Oh yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. It's pretty funny. Haha, uh -huh. I forgot. I saw, I saw a Morrowind meme video today. What it was talking oh. about? It was talking about Sprig and uh, Sprussy. Hmm. And uh, oh. they were saying making an Enwa act unwise. That's the that's, joke. That's fascinating. Yeah, because spruce is a type of tree. I like how everyone just went silent after that. That's pretty good. In my case, I am still eating. Ah, enjoy your food. Can you name the food? It is a taco burger. You're not actually wrong. How? I did it. I am a witch, but only when I'm very sleepy and or very awake. I can't believe that Lambda's eating at ta disgusting Taco Bell. No, oh, Taco I'm Burger. I I'm eating Taco Burger, burger with hot sauce and some actual, like, other condiments that would make it more spicy. I can't, I can't eat Taco Bell without getting sick. Oh, I like Taco Bell, actually. It's pretty good. It only took oh, yeah, you until yeah. like 2020 for it to be in your country. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I wanted to eat Taco Bell and try, try it ever since I was a kid and was watching like cartoons and they were eating tacos. I'm like, that looks interesting. I wish it's, I could try it. It's hilarious too. You're like, well, I'm so excited it's here. I'm like, Lizard, they just continued my favorite food. Yeah, like, and I'm like, I don't and care. I don't care. There's tacos though. Can I bring back the Mexican pizza recently? Yeah, and it's sold yeah. out in my area, and I'm literally the only one who eats it legitimately without mean value, and it pisses me off. You know what you gotta do, Lambda? What? You gotta find the, all of the other people who order the taco pizza, and you gotta go to them and be like, Highlander style, there can be only one, and you oh. decapitate them. I'm gonna oh, kill them with, like, hard tortilla shells hero. as my sword. Not much on the taco pizza. Oh no, we got a hero! The taco pizza, yeah, don't, don't spot about the taco pizza. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's a tortilla. Okay. Flat down, that's crispy. <laughs> and then the next layer on top of that is your bean mix, and ground beef mix, and on top of that is a northern tortilla. And then they have some sort of chili tomato based sauce with cheese on it. And then on top of that is uh, onions and tomatoes, and that's what, and some another type of sauce, and that's the Mexican pizza. 
Oh, yeah, we're gonna eat in Memphis. And I'm like, this is the most unidentic food ever. Why is it called this? And I'm like, oh no, it's delicious. I love it. And then they discontinued it because making the tortilla shell was really fucking expensive for them for some reason. Because it's like a wheat mixer, so they keep just recycling their own normal ingredients. So when COVID happened, they discontinued it as a cost saving mechanism. And then a lot of people oh, got really? annoyed, even though I'm the only one on the planet who eats the fucking thing. I don't know if it was uh, because of COVID that they did that. They did that as an excuse. I think they wanted to discontinue it for a while because it's more expensive to make as a specialty item because it's not a recycled of their same stuff. They actually had to have like a custom tortilla for some reason for it. From me like reading stuff on their website. But yeah, that is the taco pizza. Yeah. Don't, don't you like this bastardization of your culture spot? Uh, I mean, I kind of have can like visualize it, but it sounds like they made like a big synchronizada that put more crap on top of it. I'm kind of disappointed that McDonald's got rid of their Southwestern salad. They've been like getting rid of it for a while because like in the 80s it had like black olives on top of it. And then in the 2000s they had like uh, chives on top of it. And then they removed so like it had everything, the chives, the tomatoes, and the black olives in the 80s, and in the 90s to 2000s, there was only tomato and chives. And then in the 210s, they just have like tomatoes on it, and now it's gone, and they brought it back, but they brought it back in the most basic version ever, so. Oh god, more ghosts. So I had a feeling they were going to eventually just get rid of the fucking thing. But I will post a image of this abomination to your culture. Oh boy. Hey Spud, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, speaking of abominations to your culture, I'm gonna tell you about a restaurant that I like to go to. Oh boy. Where they, they have, they are Mexican and Brazilian fusion. Mm. And they're actually I, really good. Yeah. I post an NPC spot. They make they make little tiny tacos, but they make it with picanhas, which is like really really good beef. And I could eat 50 million of those, and I kind of want some. And they cut it in a cross, so it's like pizza slices. Yeah. <laughs> but I like the way it tastes. Look, I'm gonna word. tell I'm gonna say it now. There's nothing yeah. wrong with like crummy fast food versions of other cultures, eh, it's fine. It's If it's tasty and okay, you, you're not trashy for liking it. Just like uh, what you like. I don't, I don't like know. it for that. I hate it that it's called the Mexican pizza. Like, yeah. it is it a cuisine from a spot specific country. It's like, no, it's just a taco. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it looks, taco pizza. It's, it's like what I thought it was going to be based on that description. It looks like a synchronizada, but they put a bunch of stuff on top. And I can honestly, that seems like if you went to like some very fringe street food stands here, you could probably find something like that. I would eat, I would need to visit Spots Country now. Yo. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. Better prepare. It, sounds, it looks like the kind of thing that maybe if, like maybe I would see outside my the fucking food stands outside my my old high school. Oh it's yeah. like yeah, I gotta food stuff stands. all this stuff and deep fry all this stuff and put a bunch of sauce and crap on top of it. So the diameter is about the size of a saucer. Guess how much Jay charged for this fucking thing? Twenty dollars. Like eight dollars. Aww. It's the most expensive fucking thing on the menu, but it's the only thing I like on the menu, which is why I like I'm going to sell out of this. I like how I said $20 because I assume that it's like an expensive fast food item, and also I added like US pricing to everything. Because like eight, eight euros is like an, a pricey fast food menu here, so I thought, okay, let's just add a bunch more money on it. But no, I was actually wrong. Oh. I think my dinner's here. Dinner? Pizza keeps getting... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, keeps getting sold out. Now people are selling it for like chip the place on eBay. They're scalping oh. Taco Bell. I mean, if people will buy it. I hate that it's a meme item because I eat it unironically, so I'm just fucked because of the market. It's the yeah. worst. I mean, you, there's always the scalping, you know? 
Bad, bad, bad scalps pizza, yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want to hear some other, like, fuck, Taco Bell item spot? Uh, I don't know, I mean, the, that also, that kind of reminded me of how there's a place that I went to here that served something called Aztec Pizza, and I have no idea how they got the, the idea for oh, the well, ingredients. Hey, what, what, what happened? What the Aztec the extinct the time pizza was a bit of? Uh, Aztec Pizza. I don't know. I mean, that depends on how you define extinct, but... Uh, oh yeah, isn't there some, like, remnants of the culture exists? Yeah, I uh, mean... Okay, okay I, I should clarify, I didn't mean that I'd say... I meant it more of the... as a civilization as a whole. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I apologize you get what you mean. But yeah, this thing had, like... I think the base was like goat cheese, but it also had Witlacoche, which is like a... It's corn smut. It's a fungus that's a parasite on corn, but it's eaten as food here. And they oh, also had like... Oh, I think that... I think I know that one. And they also had a... Uh, corn old They had fried fucking... what are they called? Uh, strawberries on top, and I don't know where that came from. What the hell? Fried so, strawberries, yeah. huh? It was weird. I've had fried banana before, that's pretty good. Hey, uh, could someone put a portal down? Yeah, okay. I'll put a portal down right next to all the skeletons. Thank you. Yeah! I love skeleton. <laughs> oh, I love hey, skeletons there's a... so much that I have one inside me right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> so... Oh god, I died. Another popular item spot in Ooh. US Taco Bell is... Instead of having normal tortilla-like taco shells, guess what they're made out of? Are they made out of Doritos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had heard about that. I'm like, why? Yeah, the Doritos are like nachos, right? You put, you eat them with nacho cheese? Yeah, but I mean, wouldn't you literally be 100% incapable of putting your fingers on that and not be like completely greasy afterwards? Uh, yeah. I kinda need a portal, cause uh... Yes, I'm, we're just jumping between portals and none of them works. Instead of like, being dusted, like, in the like, chips are, I think it's actually in the batter, if that makes sense, when they make it. Oh fuck, oh, that's well. weird. Okay, I put a portal down oh. and my game crashed. Everyone's- yeah! <laughs> you know what that means? Uh, it's dying. Dying. The stream is over. Oh, well, yeah, my dinner's here anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's past 1 a.m., so it's oh, a good boy, time to... I'm just... Oh, I'm just stuck in loading hell because I loaded... I, I clicked the portal as it crashed. So I can't I can't leave the game now, it's just loading forever. Oh, wait, never oh. mind, it said lost connection to server, okay. Man, we had a lot of tangents today. Oh. And I think actually losing connection to server made the game crash, so that's great. Mm. So that's uh, everyone's game crashed, except for Lambda. Which is bizarre, because I had like five different other tabs open that uses my video card. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe that kept it busy and protected it. It forgot to get the signal that was supposed to crash, so it forgot to. Let me see if I can get you a picture of this of these taco spot because I want you I want to get your your opinion on how it looks. <laughs> it's very strange. It's Brazilian and Mexican uh, fusion. Oh boy. They do. It was the first time I ever ate a quesadilla, and I really liked it. And I I really like it, and I have it every time I can now. Oh, they have a little platter. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, here, give me your opinion on this food and whether it looks nice. Uh, this one. Hmm. Just a little platter of things. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the stuff on the edges is like on the top. And the bottom, uh, but... it's, uh, it's probably... maybe Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You put Brazilian stuff in the middle. What's the drinks? 
I mean, I don't know. I think it's just the uh, cocktails they have. Gimme. They mean, have one cocktail that just has like a bottle tipped over on top on it, and I don't know what it is, but it's scary. If you go to like a certain taco places here, you'll just get you're just gonna get like uh, some of those little round tortillas and uh, like a bunch of meat, like sliced meat to put on them. That sounds and, pretty good. Yeah. It's like make your own. And I'm trying to find like a good picture of Synchronizadas, which is it's basically like. Uh, two tortillas on top of each other, but uh, there's like cheese and stuff in the middle. And that's probably the closest thing to that weird pizza that apparently exists. And there's a lot of pictures, but I don't know which would be the best one. Oh. They also have a thing called the uh, Huevos Divorciados, which mm -hmm. I don't know if it's actually a thing. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is, but I've heard of it a lot. It's just fried eggs with stuff on them, I think. Yeah. There. I like how this has just turned into food review. <laughs> we should actually do one, like a just chatting food review table list. Let's do let's a podcast <laughs> that no one listens to. The spot cast. Oh shit. I have no input because I literally just I literally just mindlessly eat whatever's put in front of me. You know, you were Kirby. Ugh. Oh this looks pretty good, Spot. I would I would eat this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see if I can. There we go. Make it not completely silent in the background. Have the stream at least. But yeah. <laughs> That's horrifying. Or why would you do this? I'm an agent of chaos. I think as a concept, a food review would work because Spock can bring in his food. You can bring mm -hmm. in Portuguese food, lizard. Uh, burn. You can do your part of the United States, I can bring in my part of the United States, and Reese can do, like, also, uh, kinda, her food. Also, kind of helps that I'm literally in the for U.S. Your, Canadian border zone. For you, you're basically Canadian pretending to be an American. Let's be real. Do you, do you get poutine, but you put, like, hamburger meat in it? But it's, like, American? It's, like, Canadian-American fusion. I mean, I mean, Vermont look like sounds French, so yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's not, it's not gonna be Vermont. It's gonna be Montvert. <laughs> oh. Also, it's fine. Green I would Hill. Eat the fuck out of that. Hmm. Yeah, I would just eat it. I won't eat the fuck though. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying to find like the weirdest thing I can post to gross everyone out. Uh, okay guys, it's time for me to share my culture with everyone. Get ready to get grossed out. Oh boy, I cannot wait. Uh, I can't find any good looking photos of it, so I guess this is going to be it. This works. Bam. Oh, that was chicken feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Try chicken feet. Well, you, if you come over here, you can. Or you can try this. Mm. You want to know what this is? Mm -hmm. No. That's uh, chicken gizzards. Mm. Oh. I don't know, that seems like the sort of thing that might taste good if I didn't know what it was. It actually is not even that bad. It's kind of just chicken, but slightly more chewy. <laughs> and it usually just tastes like the sauce it's cooked in, so it's no big deal. The really weird shit is eaten like to the south, because they eat snails. Hmm. 
Yeah. Both sea snails and not sea snails. I see. Oh no, never mind, there's something weirder. Okay. Here it is, the, the weirdest thing that I never ate, but that is eaten here. There you go. Uh, weird barnacles. Oh. It's actually incredibly dangerous to get these because the best tasting ones are in the most dangerous areas. Oh, no, so, oh, no. Oh, no. if these are the same barnacles that Gordon and Ramsey literally almost died in that one video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gordon went to eat these and he like fumbled in the little waves. And he's like, oh no, I'm dying. That's his voice. He's like, oh hmm. no, I am dying. Oh. And then the guy was like, what the fuck are you doing? This is the easy bit. Like, there's people going to, like, really dangerous areas with, like, lots of waves crashing just to get the best ones. Eh, scorpions suck. Eh, that's fine. That's just, like, haha, <laughs> bug in food. I actually ate that before. The scorpion tastes better than lollipop. Understandable. Yeah. You made a broken embedded image? How'd you do that first? All I can say is I can't give shit to Hachiman out. Well... Well, we Hachima have these. just eats bugs. That's not so bad. Wake me up when she eats lamprey rice. These and these. I want to eat oh. forbidden rice at some point. Wait, ant eggs? Whoa! Yeah. That's yeah. kind of dope. Ant eggs. And fried grasshoppers. You know, f like from far away, that didn't look like grasshoppers. It looked like really dried chilies. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. Oh no, it's mm. grasshoppers. We do in some regions of the United States do eat kiss quesadas, but only because of the. They're gonna wake up every 80 years and there's just like infinite in the streets. Oh, cicadas. Yeah. I didn't so, even know those were edible. We don't eat bugs here because we're we're very civilized. We only eat baby animals. I mean, I ate baby octopuses before, so. Uh... Oh. Yeah, but octopi are, they only live like three years, so. They literally pop. They literally popped in my mouth, so. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, yes. speaking of baby animals, sorry to interrupt, just like. Because I forget otherwise. Did you see the thing with Pokemon, the new Pokemon? It's called Lechonk. Lechonk, yeah. Did you know that that's not actually a yeah. meme? It's because in Spanish you got Lechon, which is a suckling pig that they eat a lot there and over oh, here as well. Region. Yeah. So the new region is like... You got Lechon there, Spot. Do you get Lechon? I mean, we know what it is. It's probably somewhere, but I've never eaten it. Oh, it's so good. We it's it's a big thing over here, and uh, I I like it, even though it's very cruel. I'm from Europe, so we're used to cruelty. <laughs> I posted a recipe that's specific to the casetas I was talking about earlier, but that happened in 2021, so we won't see it again until 2038. <laughs> So it's like the most regional ass, like time sensitive recipe. I don't even know why it's published. Of course they would make this. <clears throat> Burn, no, don't post Brazilian pizza. That's a lot. That's not allowed. But I'm good with food. But Brazilian pizza is just. Is just... That's cheating. They just make the worst pizza on purpose because they want to troll everyone. Brazil's just a troll country most of the time. It reminds me of that one guy that of that of when Vinny reviewed pizza and like. He was actually out. getting legitimately annoyed at the pizza. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yep. But like ninety percent of it is just Brazilian pizza, which is not. It's 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 cheating. They make it bad on purpose. Uh. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go now because I'm starting to pass out. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep, yeah. yep. yep. <laughs> that was I fun was... though. I'll see everyone mm -hmm. next Friday. Yeah, next, next Friday if the fault doesn't have to work. Yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least make a sick day. No. You just make make the fault sick. I so will. That then no. it's not a lie. I'm just Use your look, witchy magic. I'm just going to no. look at my monitor, and she's going to type and look at the screen, and then she will get the sick. Because that's how no. it works. No, I have a terminal disease now. I am going to die before mm -hmm. next Friday. That's, That's right. my illness. Give it back. Only Set. I can have it. Set Damn seal. It. Okay. Well, uh, bye bye, everyone. Thanks for having me, Spot. Yeah. Thanks for oh. entertaining bad pizzas with me, Spot. <laughs> I was just kind of curious about that when it came up, but yeah. Alright. Guess I don't have to. We need to hang out more spot. Agreed. Hmm. My um... gyms are always up. Okay, I'll leave Sake in the stream. Okay, bye. Alright. Yep. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the prime two thing with the sound glitches because because iTunes hates anything with non-standard bit rates apparently. Let's see what happens now. All right. Yeah. I mean, I I'm around and doing shit, and I guess I should post more of that to the to my own Discord a lot of the time. But yeah, I guess I'll try to be back next week. Hopefully get some other stuff done that isn't necessarily related to this so that I can uh, maybe get a better idea of what's gonna happen next but eh. I'll figure that out when time allows but right now I will head out but as I do head out today I'm gonna take a look, see here, which I haven't done this in like well a long time because I haven't streamed regularly in a long time. I think I'm gonna let me see. I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to do uh what is this? What the fuck do you want, Twitch? Creators and moderators can help or show uh, yeah, okay. Well I could just do the infinite channel points that I have for my own channel, but Uh, okay, that was a short medley track on this Mulgara, the specifically the Hyrule Warriors version of Mulgara, not the original. There you go, but yeah. I'm gonna take the uh, opportunity to do something I haven't done in a long time, because I haven't done this regularly in a long time, and yeah. I'm gonna have a quick trade at game tracks, so I think went live just a little while ago. Um, this uh, pretty cool dude who plays retro stuff, and right now I think he's... About to play um, Jammer Lemmy, which is a game that I failed to finish when I played it by myself, but that got put into. Uh, or at least started the process of being put into a VGM thing that I do regularly. So that's nice. Maybe I'll go back to it at some point, but yeah. That is. Or we're gonna leave off, so uh, it's probably actually go to what it's supposed to be and stream. There we go. And I will say, as always, you'll take it easy. Thank everybody for coming, like always. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for chatting, and all that good stuff. And yeah. And as always, I suppose I will just be back whenever I do, which hopefully will be before too long, maybe even precisely a week from now. We don't really know, but I can always hope. And yeah, with all that, I will say that I will see you later. <laughs>